Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this quick overview of this free effects template for Final Cut, which creates this glassy strip displacement effect. Now, this is a tutorial that I did just recently. And if you don't want to make it yourself, you can simply download the template from the description, but you will need to request access. So let's take a look at how it works. So here we are in Final Cut. I've set up a test image. It's just a static image just to show you what's going on here. Let's come down to our effects browser and let's scroll down to the TKY category, which is where I've put this. And it's called TKY Strip Displace. Let's just drop it onto our clip like that. Close up our effects browser to give ourselves some space. So then if we just press play, you'll see we get this effect, so a kind of glassy strip displace. This is a very popular look these days. So let's talk through the controls. Let's just turn on the displace map. So this is the map that's creating that glassy displacement and being able to see it allows us to fine tune it more successfully. I'm just gonna turn that off for the time being. I'll come back to it in a second. So this gap width, decides how wide this gap is, this central gap here, where we're getting no displacement. And then we can offset that. So supposing I wanted to focus on this eye here, we can just offset that with this center offset control. Now, the next set of controls, let's just turn on the displace map. It makes it easy to see what this is. So if I reduce my width start, you can see that I can get some very fine displacement lines for the beginning, and I could go the other way with the end to get some fat displacement lines. And the strips obviously determines how many strips we actually have in the effect. And the contour adjusts whether or not there's any kind of glassy contouring. So it's probably easier to see that if we turn this back on again. So that's no contouring at all. That's a completely flat look. And this is a much more glassy look if we turn it up to 100%. I'm just going to increase that width start a bit so it's a little bit more obvious what the effect is doing. And the displace amount decides how intense the effect is effectively. So if we just increase that to the max, you can see we're pushing those strips a long way off. Whereas the default is kind of around 10, and that's probably about right for most purposes. And the only other controls to talk about are these start and end offset. So if I set this start offset to zero, the animation will start at the beginning. And if I set the end offset all the way to 100%, the animation will finish in the middle. So these aren't frames, they're just sort of percentage counts. 100% in the middle, zero is at either end. And curvature is just the easing behavior of that ramping of those start and ends. So that's the effect. I hope you have fun playing with it. As I say, there is a link in the description and you will need to request access. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.